Today's look is inspired by... Pika Pika! I am a huge Pokemon fan and I do love Pikachu. Who doesn't? Very cute character. So I am going to do a Pikachu look and the main highlight of this is this Mayron Cosmetics. This is the cream blend stick. So I do want to also give a little bit of a review and how I like this product. I've used it a couple times so far. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, Mayron Cosmetics is a really good face painting product. It's very geared towards makeup artists, towards cosplays, towards FX makeup, um, even just like your standard Halloween and things like that. So this cream stick is very easy to put on and I kind of just fill it up in the main places and then I will take a brush. So one thing I want to note, and uh, this is with kind of lighter colors in general, they are hard to blend perfectly. I do notice that they can easily get very patchy in certain places depending on how you apply the product. So I like to use a paintbrush like makeup brush and just go in very soft hand strokes in one direction so that it kind of evens everything out and I am going to have a wig on but I want to go up to my ears just a little bit so if my ears peek out it's blended up there. Now I'm going to go in with Shiro Cosmetics. This color is called Cornucopia and I'm going to use this yellow shimmer. It's like a kind of mineral I'm going to use this to just put over my eyelid to give it a dry base and surface for when I do my black eyes. Let's go ahead and get some eyebrows on. I'm using this CoverGirl. It's not my favorite. This is like the ultra thin liner pencil. Um, but I'm going to use it because I do like to finish my product unless it just is completely crappy. <laughs> Eyebrows on. Now we're going in with this Too Faced Glitter Palette. This is Glitter Bomb. And I am using the Intensifying Base. That's this black here. Because I will put some glitter, a little bit of like glitter shimmer over. And this just really helps to give it that nice pop. <laughs> So that did blend very nice. It wasn't too difficult. Uh, one thing that I do like, especially about using this brush, you can always just grab a little more product and you see a little fallout right here. Then just go over it and boom, it's gone. You wiped it all away. I'm going to go in with a flatter brush and I'm going to grab that glitter goals color, which is that silver. And we're going to kind of just put that at the top crease area. Now I'm taking the other end, which is a thinner point, and we are using Oh It's On. Yes, that is that yellow, yellow glitter, and we are going to put that in our inner corner. Now we're going to go back in with the intensifying base, and this time I'm going to spray down the brush to get a more precise placement. What is that random spot? So I am going to go in with liner and lashes, mascara. But I just like to do that at the end and give my eyes a break. Let's move on to something else. Now, I am using this Mary Kay palette that I have. I've had this for so long, and I've kept it for this reddish color here. It's uh, called something coral, 
everything will be in the description all of the products that I'm using I'll have the names and links in the description but I'm just using a chunky kind of blending brush and we are going to do the cheeks and that is very important to kind of give that really big over smile so we see where my cheeks are and I'm kind of just gonna follow that circle and we'll just do small circles at a time Now moving on to the lips. I debated on this part for a while what to do, uh, but we are going to just go in with some black lipstick. So I have a liquid lip here and we're just going to do the whole lips black. And we're going to go ahead and draw the nose on. Also to add just a little bit more character cuteness. Kind of matches with the little extensions here and then add a little tip right there at the bottom. And then we will go in with our liner to kind of accentuate the eyes and we are almost done. Now one thing, a side note that I did notice with this product is you can add a setting powder to it and that will kind of just help to keep everything from moving as much. But when you add the setting powder, it does kind of dry up the face and then give it a little bit more of a matted look. And this yellow I did not want to tone down at all because I feel like it was just the perfect amount of yellow, uh, the perfect color. So I did not add any setting powder, but let's finish the eyes. So I did go in with some liquid liner and I added just a little bit of a wing and a little bit right into my eyelashes just to give it a little bit more depth. Now I'm not going to curl my eyelashes, I'm just going to add some mascara. Not too much, again, just to thicken it up so when I put the lashes on, it does help uh, everything kind of hold and grab to my natural lashes a little bit better. For lashes, I'm using Ardell 120 in black. Lashes are on, and it's definitely not very dramatic, but I think it still looks better. And I'm going to intensify the look by adding some glitter. This is NYX Glitter, black glitter, to my lips. Basically, I'm just going to go over with a cream black lipstick. So this is ColourPop. I'm just going to go over my lips and then pat the glitter on my lips so that we can make this a little bit more cutesy. I mean, seriously, glitter makes everything so much better. Definitely a great decision, I think. Here you have it. Here is the final look. So if you're actually going out to a Comic Con or a cosplay convention or anything like that, um, or a big Pokemon convention, but what do you think? Do I just do I do I look just like them? <laughs> but my overall thoughts on the Mayron Cream Blend Stick is I love it. I think it's really good. The yellow is one of the trickiest colors so I wanted to try this product first with a lighter color um, and if the yellow performs well I can just imagine some of the other colors I think maybe the orange would be the next trickiest to work with uh, the price point they range anywhere from like 11 to 13 dollars just depending where you find them if you're doing a one color look like myself then it's not very expensive you you know, pay 11, 12, 13 bucks and you have your base paint. Uh, if you're doing a look that requires two, three, four colors, it is a little bit pricey. So I, you know, maybe you'd consider um, a little bit smaller kits or something, but this is a 0.75 ounce stick. And for me, you get a lot of bang for your buck. I mean, and it's just so easy. It's not messy. It's hassle free. You just grab it and go so you can carry it with you, travel and whatnot. But I definitely like it. It blends really nice. I think it stays nice. And 
excited to try some of the other colors. So, if you're a Pokemon fan, let me know below what your favorite Pokemon character is. Mine is Squirtle, which I will be doing a Squirtle look at some point on my channel. But I want to start with Pikachu to try that yellow. And also because Pikachu is just so cute and fun. Who doesn't like Pikachu? So, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time.